Hello YouTube, Mr. Beam is here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D exploded view. So, as you can see, um, this is the sheet. Its title is uh, West Chap Bend Structure Perspective and West Chap Bend Structure Perspective Modular Units. Um, so, this exploded 3D is created from this 3D. I'm going to do it again. Um, so for the first step, I'm going just to delete this one. And we have to check that what is the actually the name of this 3D view. So I'm going to click on it. Um, so it's on the 3D view, 3D presentation. And it is actually chimney perspective. We are going to the 3D presentation which is this one I'm going to expand this one to read it easier and that one is west shaft chimney perspective view if I double click on this one that's correct we have it so I'm going to just duplicate it you need to do it duplicating with detailing because there is no detailing there so I'm just going to duplicate it and I'm going to rename it West Shaft Chimney, let's say, Exploded. Exploded. And we have it there. Okay. So, one thing, I'm going to close that view and I'm going just to drag and drop into this sheet. So, I'm going to just drag it and drop it there somewhere there so now I have to change the viewport to something like let's say with the title typical and I have to look for the title where is it is there so I'm going to click on it and I'm just going to move it there so we are going to change this title to West Shaft when the structure perspective 3D exploded. So now we have to um, modify this view. So I'm going to double click on it. First of all, we have to get rid of the, the existing structure. If I type VV, we will see the visibility graphic because um, it's everything is grayed out because it's actually uh, using a view template so I'm going to just to check the, the view template which is this one I'm going to check it as none for now so again typing VV now I have access to the Revit links I'm going to switch off all the links. So that structure, which is existing structure, which is gray in this project is called XEN1. But anyway, I'm going to switch off all of them. I'm clicking on OK. So as we can see, there are some walls. Um, we can switch off the wall. So I'm Hitting the VV again, I'm going to the um, model categories and typing W. So it will go to W's and the first W is walls. I'm going to just to switch it off. So now we have a very clean view. So um, by holding the shift key and middle mouse, I can rotate it. I think maybe this one is good. Okay, cool. So the thing is, um, we have to explode this module, that module, and that module. It's easier to use my backup 3D, which is this one, to select the modules. So I'm going to the back view. Uh, before that one, it's easier just to um, having a section box. So I'm going to select this one, typing BX. And 
just dragging this view to there to limiting the the view and I'm going to back to back again going to hide that wall and hiding that wall so the first module is this let's select it like this so everything is selected except the, the columns and also the bracing so let's try it again let's do it from here so it will be selected everything amazing and if you check it you will see that whole the module is selected so that's good so with the selection is still there I'm going to click on this tab and then if I go to the view there is an icon that says that it's displays elements so I'm going to click on it and you will see that we have three uh, arrows representing X Y Z um, if I use the X uh, this arrow it will just move it in the X displacement which is this one let's say minus 2000 or maybe minus 2500 and we also want to this we should it go up and let's say 2500 the z direction amazing so let's do it uh, the same procedure for the the middle module so i'm going back to the 3d for behrang and i'm going to the back view going to select up to here I'm checking that if everything is selected which is pretty good clicking on the tab here and again clicking on the displays elements so same procedure so it should go there and go there so this time the X is also positive value and the Z also is positive but we know that it should be 2500 here and 2500 there and the remaining module I'm going to the back view again I'm going to select by holding the the right the left click and so I selected most of the things except the some of the elements let's try it again maybe from there this one this selection is better okay so same thing happens so what we are going to do we are going to manually select but just be careful I just selected this one wrong so I'm holding the shift key and holding the the control key to add the things adding these two adding these two adding these two finally adding these two so now the middle module is completely selected let me check it again that's correct clicking on the tab here and clicking on the displays elements so this time I want this module only goes up which is only Z displacement so it should be 2500 clicking on OK it already looks amazing so the other thing is I'm going to click on one of these modules and we have a path so we want to show that the path of this displacement so by clicking on that one and zooming here um, one of the paths is this one of them is there one of them is that and the other one well, it doesn't need to be very precise but it's already we have four of them that's great for let's do it the same thing with this module I'm clicking on the module and click on the path 
um, this one, this one, that one, and this one. So clicking the other module, click on the path, that one, that one. That one and that one. So it doesn't really need to be very precise which one you are selecting. I'm guessing that I no okay that that that's perfect. So I'm just rotating to the my desire setting which I like to be like this and it's actually perfect. So I'm going to deactivate the view. I'm just pushing down a little bit and I'm also clicking on this and moving to a line. Amazing. So now I want to modify these pass lines to something showing as a blue and dash lines. So I'm going to type VV and I'm going to the annotation categories and going to the by typing D to the displacement pass. If I uncheck it and click on apply, you will see that those stuff are the displacement pass. So I'm going to uh, modify it. Um, we can change the project in projection line um, I'm going to use here as dash lines and I'm going to click on OK to see that how it looks like so it's good so I just need to change its um, weight to 4 um, let's try to something thicker like like maybe five for now but the thing is we have to check that if the thin lines is is actually act activated we are going to click on it so it's pretty thick i'm typing vv again i'm going to the annotation category and displacement line displacement pass i'm changing to the four and also about the color we are going to use, let's this time use the magenta, click on OK, click on OK, and apply. It's so beautiful. So if we want to add some text, I'm typing TX, and I'm using just a text like um, module 1. We can make the text 2.5 millimeter like that and just I'm going to type CO for copy multiple is checked copying there one here one here and one there so that one is module one this would be module two this is module three and this is module four And the last thing, I'm going to um, lock this view, which is this um, icon here. I'm going to just a save orientation and lock view. So if I try to rotate it, it will not be rotated. So I'm going to click on the deactivate view and this is our 3D exploded. So only on this 3D this happening and the actual model is still we have all the modules connected to each other. This is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching.